Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part 8. The same exercise 17.3 will be continued. So we'll start with question number 8. Which has greater area? A square of perimeter 44 centimeter or a circle having circumference of 44 centimeter. So we'll start with the perimeter of the square first. So we know the for, per, uh, formula for the perimeter of square that is 4s and this is given as perimeter is given as 44. So below this perimeter we are going to write here 44 is 4s. So 44 divided by 4 will be s. So this will be 11. So s is 11 centimeter. Now let us see the area of square first because they were asked uh, which has greater area. So now we know the side of a square. So now let us see the area of square first. So area of the square the formula is side square. So we got this as 11, so that will be 11 into 11, that will be 121 centimeter square. Now again now, here the second is the circle. So the circumference of circle, the formula is 2 pi r. So this is the circumference is given as 44. So below this we will write here 44. That is we can consider this as 3.14 or 22 by 7. So here 2 into 22 by 7 into we don't know the radius of it. So now this, if we take on this side, so 44 into 7, and this will go in the denominator, that will be 2 into 22, and that is R. So here will be 22 ones are 22 twos are. So this is going to be 1. So 1 into 7, that will be 7. So R is 7 centimeter. So the area of the circle now, that is pi R square. And this will be 22 by 7. We got this as 7, 7 into 7. So this will be 1. So this will be 154 centimeter square. So now we have the area of the square is 121 and the area of the circle is 154. So definitely the circle has a greater area. So this is the answer. Find the perimeter of the following figures. So now let us see the first figure semicircle with diameter 14 centimeter. This is the figure given and this is always whenever this, this whole thing is called the diameter that is given as 14. So diameter is 14 centimeters. So the radius is always the half of it that will be 7. So diameter by 2. So that will be 7 centimeter. So we have to find the perimeter. So perimeter of this semicircle means you know the perimeter of the circle that is 2 pi r. So the half of it means the semi means the half. Semi means the half. So you will write here 2 pi r divided by 2. So this and this goes up. So this is going to be pi r. So you don't have to learn this formula, but you can make the formula with this one with the help of the circumference of circle. So now here will be 22 by 7. And here will be, this is 7 given the radius. So this will be 22 centimeter. So the perimeter figure, this is the perimeter this of circle and this one this is 14 so what we can write here this 22 plus 14 that will be 36 centimeter now let us see the next one abcd is a square of side 7 centimeter so this is a square this is 7 centimeter this also 7 this also should be 7 and this also should be 7 with semicircles drawn on ab and CD. These are the semicircles drawn on AB and the CD. So diameter of this, it's semicircle that is, this is the diameter. So this is a semicircle. So this is a diameter that is already given. That is 7. So radius will be going to be the half of it. So that radius will be 3.5 centimeter. So perimeter of this semicircle again uh, that I have told you that is 2 pi r divided by 2 that will be pi r. So we will write here pi will be 22 by 7. And the radius we got, we got this as 3.5. So 7 ones are 7 fives, are, but this is point, so it is going to be 0 0.5. So when you multiply this one, that should be 11 centimeter. So now we have two semicircles, this as well as this one. So if this is 11, means this also should be 11. So now perimeter of these two semicircles means we write here 2 into this 11, that will be 22 centimeter. So now we want the perimeter of this figure, this whole figure. So what will you write here? This is going. This will be here AC plus this BD, and this one you are going to take this two semicircles. So AC plus BD plus perimeter of two semicircles. So AC is given as seven. The BD is given as seven, and we got the perimeter of two semicircles that is twenty-two. So when you add this all, that is going to be thirty-six centimeter. 
in triangle PQR, PQ is equal to PR is 25. See here, this is PQ and this is already given. This is PR and that is 25. And this QR is 14. So this QR is 14. And this semicircle is drawn on side QR. So this is the semicircle drawn on this one, side QR. So now PQ is equal to PR is equal to 25 given. QR is equal to 14 centimeter. So again here the perimeter of semicircle means 2 pi r divided by 2 that will be pi r. So 22 by 7 and this r. Now see here this is the QR. QR this is the diameter. This is the diameter whenever this one this is the diameter. So the r is going to be the this the diameter is 14. So r is going to be 7 centimeter. So we can write here r is 7 centimeter. This 7 ones are. So this will be 22 centimeters. So this is the perimeter of this semicircle. But they have asked the perimeter of this whole figure. So the perimeter of this figure means you have to add this side, this side and the perimeter of this semicircle. So what will you write here? This is given as 25, 25. This is given plus the perimeter of this semicircle is 22. So 25 plus 25 plus 22. That will be 72 centimeter. Find the area of the shaded region in the following figures. Here the, this is the figure given. Four semicircles are here. This one, two, three, and this four semicircles are given. So here whenever this semicircle means when you join this and this uh, semicircle, that is going to be one full circle. And when you join this and this one, that is going to be the other circle. So now what will be that? There will be two circles in it. So now let us see that first thing this is a square. So side of square that is given as 28 centimeter. This is the side this is AB that is 28 centimeter. So the radius of each semicircle is going to be that will be 28 by 2 that will be 14 centimeter. So now what will you do? They want they want this one. They want the area of the shaded region. This is whole thing is the shaded one. So now what will you do? First thing we will write the area of the circle. So area of the circle is pi r square. So this will be pi is 22 by 7. This already we got the radius is 14 into 14. So 7 ones are 7 twos are. When you multiply this, that is going to be 612. But then as I said, this and this, when you combine this one, both of the semicircle, that is going to be one circle. And this and this, when you combine, that is going to be the other circle. So there are total two circles. We got the area of this one circle. So area of these two circles is 2 into 6 into 6, 616 that is sorry, that will be when you multiply this one that will be 1, 2, 3, 2 centimeter square. So now area of the square, now we got for the semicircles, now let us see because we want this also. So this area of the square, we know this side, so this also should be 28. So area of the square is side square, the formula. So 28 into 28, that will be 784 centimeter square. So area of the shaded region will be this all plus this area of the square means this area of the two uh, circles as well as this area of the square. When you add this one, this both, so that is going to be 2016 centimeter square. Square inscribe in a circle of diameter 40 centimeters. So we have to find the area of the shaded region means this, this, this and this one. These are the semicircles. We have to find out the area of this four semicircles. Now see here. So what you are going to do from this whole, you are going to subtract this square. So that will be, you are going to get the area of the shaded region. This is what we are going to do. So now let, let us go step by step. So this diameter, see here, uh, this is 40 means this also should be the diameter, diameter of a circle that is, and it is also given here, diameter is 40 centimeter. And the radius is going to be definitely the half of it, that will be 20. So diameter divided by 2. So now the diagonal of a, the, this is the diagonal this is also the whenever this the diagonal of a square also should be the same so the diagonal of a square is diameter of a circle so this what is you have to remember that is 40 centimeters since the diameter is given as 40 so the diagonal also should be 40. so now area of a square that is in terms of this diagonal we are going to write here half into diagonal square so area of square is half into diagonal square and now this half will be as it is diagonal is 40 so 40 square so this will be for half into 40 square means 4 for the 16 and this 2 0 so 
1600. So this will be 800 centimeter square. So now the shaded area is going to be what? From this one, we are going to subtract this square. So what will you write here? Area of circle, that is pi r square minus 800. So that is the, because the, that is the area of the square. So that will be, we'll write here. So we can also do uh, this one here, here. We can find out separately the area of the circle and then plug in the values. So here itself you can write because you know area of shaded region that will be area of circle minus area of square. So for this area of circle, I have written the formula, you know, that is pi r square and this area of square, we already got the answer here as 800. So now let us put the value here as 3.14 and the radius is given as 20 and this 20 two times. And this minus 800. So when you multiply this one because this is separate, that is for pi r square. So that will be 1256, and this will be minus 800. So the answer should be 456 centimeter squares of the shaded area. So two circles of radius 10 centimeter inscribed in a rectangle. So now let us see this is the figure given. So now here radius is given as two. 10 centimeter so the radius is this is the radius of it so radius is 10 centimeter the diameter is going to be 20 centimeter so length of rectangle that is this ab is going to be what that is twice the the diameters now can you see here this is the diameter for this one and this is the diameter for this one and it is touched to the rectangle so that will be the whole part means the uh, ab is going to be the twice of diameter so that will be 2 into 20 so because the diameter is 20 so that will be 40 centimeter and the width of rectangle this is the width of it so that will be also going to be this one because now this suppose if this is 20 this part also should be 20 so now this will be ad is going to be 20 centimeter so area of the rectangle that is the length into v so the length we got this as 40 and the width is 20. So the area of the rectangle is 800 centimeter square. So now we'll see the area of two circles. So area of two circles means twice because you know the formula for the area of circle that is pi r square. So twice into pi r square. So two and pi value is 3.14 into this one. The radius is given this now as 10 into 10. So when you multiply this all, that is going to be 628 centimeter square. So the shaded region, what we are going to do from this one, because this is the shaded part, from this whole rectangle, we can remove this two squares area. So the area of the shaded region is area of the rectangle minus area of the circles. There are two circles, right? So this we got for the circles. So that will be 800 minus this two, 628. That will be 172 centimeter square. Now this is the other figure given. So we have to find the area of this one, shaded one. So there are two circles. This is the inner one and this is the outer one. So now let us consider outer radius. Now can you see this is given, this 14, that is the radius of the inner circle. And this part, this one, this is the radius of the outer circle. This is the radius of the outer circle, that is 21 centimeter. So now let us put R1 and R2 to differentiate. Outer radius R1 is 21 centimeter and inner radius r2 is 14 centimeters so area of the outer circle that will be pi you know the formula pi r square means we are going to put here r1 square so this will be 314 and this will be 21 into 21 that will be when you multiply this one that will be 1384.74 centimeter square and the area of the inner circle means pi r2 square that will be 3.14 into the this radius is given this 14 into 14 so when you multiply this you get 615.44 centimeter square. Now the shaded region is, as I told you earlier, that is, this is the shaded region, what you have seen, to see that will be the area of the outer circle minus the area of the inner circle. So area of the outer circle, that is one, three, this is here, and this will be here. So when you subtract this one, that will be 769.30 centimeter square. Now here, the next one, the two concentric circles have radii, that is 28 centimeter and 35 centimeter. Find the difference of the circumferences. So now you know there are two concentric circles. 
So now this 28 and 35 means the radius of the outer one should be 35 and the inner one should be 28. So we can say radius of the outer circle that is R1 is 35 centimeter and radius of inner circle this is R2 is 28 centimeter. So what is that? We want to find out the difference of the circumferences. So first now let us find out the circumference of the outer circle that is 2 pi R. That is the formula. So here we will put here R1 for the outer one. So 2 into 22 by 7 into R1 that is 35. So 7 ones are 7 fives are. Then when you multiply this all that is going to be 220 centimeter. Now for this one circumference of the inner circle that is 2 pi R2. So that will be 2 into 22 by 7 and R2 is given this is 28. 7 ones are 7 fours are. So that is 176 centimeter. So they have asked for the difference of the circumferences. So now we got the, both the difference of inner and outer one. So the difference of the circumference is going to be 220 minus 176, which is 44 centimeter. Now a piece of wire in the form of a rectangle 18 centimeter long and 15 centimeter broad is bent and shaped as a circle. Find the radius of the circle. So now you know there is a wire. Then that this is all the bent and because it is in the form of a rectangle, this the wire is in the form of a rectangle. This is 18 centimeter, this is 15 centimeter. The same wire, the dimensions will be the same. This is bent in the form of a in the shape of a this one. This will be in a circle. So what will you do for the this one? So the perimeter of a rectangle that is twice into length plus breadth. So twice into the rectangle length is given as 18. And the breadth is given as 15. We'll put the values here. So this will be 33, that is 66 centimeter. Then you know the circumference of a circle. That is now same thing now. This perimeter, whatever this it is bent, so that this the dimensions are not changing. So this is 66 means the circumference of a circle also should be 66. And now we want the radius of this circle. So what will you do? The circumference of a circle, the formula is that is 2 pi r and that is 66. So 2 into 22 by 7 into we don't know the r, the radius, what is that we have to find out, that is 66. So this r is going to be 66. If this goes here, that is going to get multiplied and this will go in the denominator. So that will be 22 ones are 22 threes are. So this will be 21 divided by 2. So R is going to be 10.5 centimeter. So we can write here radius of circle is 10.5 centimeter. So by this one we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel. So you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.